Disinfectants, hand sanitizer, bleach, they are everywhere, much more so than ever before, it seems. The focus on cleaning every surface is certainly top of mind, especially for schools with in-person classes. But are there risks associated with cleaning constantly for COVID-19? Adrian Klum is the mother of three. Ah! The fresh fall air is a break for mom <laughs> and recess for the kids. I decided to homeschool this year. Not because of fear over the virus at the center of this pandemic we've been living through, <laughs> but rather concern over cleaning for COVID-19. We're concerned about um, the products that are being used in the schools. We're concerned about what chemicals are in them and how it's going to long-term affect children and the people working there. And Adrian is not alone. I don't trust what they're using. Amber Sarah's four kids are in the West Dallas West Milwaukee School District and are fully virtual right now. And it's not going very well. It's no. <laughs> but she is worried for when they do go back to the classroom and surfaces are constantly being disinfected. You clean a surface real fast and then the kid is touching that surface and then they put their hands in their mouth. You have no idea what they're being exposed to. We took a sampling of both public and private schools across southeast Wisconsin, asking them to provide us a list of products being used to clean their schools for COVID. All responded and most used products from the same three companies. 3M, Clorox and Spartan, with the primary disinfecting ingredients being bleach and quaternary ammonium compounds, better known as quat, which simply put are less toxic and corrosive bleach alternatives. It was kind of common sense. You know, I think we want to make sure if you come in and there's a heavy smell, then I think it's right for you know individual parents and teachers to say, I, you know, we really need to talk about this. Dr. Christy bensick Boudreau is a pediatrician with Children's Wisconsin. They've done quite a bit of research and has little concern over what's being used to keep the schools clean. They've been using the same chemicals that they're going to be using. They've been using them for years overnight. So I don't I don't have a lot of concern with the chemicals in the school. However, doctors are sounding the alarm when it comes to hand sanitizer. Nearly 200 different sanitizers are now on the FDA's do not use list because they have been found to contain methanol or other toxic substances. The demand was so high for hand sanitizer that people went outside the normal route. Calls for ingesting hand sanitizer are up 35% over last year at the Wisconsin Poison Center. People are actually drinking hand sanitizers. Dr. David right. Gumman is the uh, medical director uh, and says that's not the most alarming stat. For some of the cleaning products like bleach, calls are up over 85%. With more cleaning comes more opportunity to get into trouble, Dr. Gumman says. User error, if you will. But when it comes to the safety of the products themselves, he says they've been vetted. The good news is that most of the kind of standard uh, household and even industrial uh, disinfecting agents and sterilants that we have out there uh, are very safe products. Safe or not, Adrian and Amber both say the frequency of exposure to these disinfectants is really what drives their concern. It's constantly being wiped down every single surface. We've never had this before. You're literally wiping chairs, tables, doorknobs, anything that you're touching. The exposure is 10 times greater than it was before. Dr. Bensick Boudreau says she's heard this from parents too and advises her patients to do research, ask questions, and be in the know when it comes to what's being used on or around your children. I think as a parent, you should talk to your district. And really, if you're voicing these concerns, I think that's when you bring it up and say, hey, show me the studies that say these are safe for my kids to come in. Now, when it comes to ingesting cleaning products or hand sanitizers, because there has been such an uptick in cases, we want to put the Wisconsin Poison Center number there at the bottom of the screen for you. That number is 1-800-222-1222. If you ever have any questions, concerns, or any fear that your child may have swallowed something they shouldn't have, always call that number. We also have it listed at fox6now.com. Well, still ahead here at 9.